And today, guys, we are going to learn how to take super cool downloaded Minecraft maps just like this one and swap them back and forth between Java and Bedrock Minecraft. Hey there, guys. Skippy here. Oh, Skippy6 Gaming, guys, coming to you with, uh, yeah, what we are doing today, guys, is showing you how to swap cool downloaded maps between Java Edition and Bedrock. That's very good. Why? Uh, because Java Edition has a ton of super cool free online resources uh, to provide you with a ton of downloadable content. So uh, uh, back in the olden days, guys, it was very difficult to transfer something between Bedrock and Java Edition. There were several different online tools, uh, MCC Tool Chest, uh, even not that far ago. I, I remember a few online creators really looking into ways to do this easily. So guys, the fact that this online tool from Minecraft actually exists uh, and people don't really know about it is kind of the thing here. So uh, I'm going to do this. We're just going to go there and there's various different sites uh, to get your content from, uh, whether it's uh, Planet Minecraft or whatever. Uh, but basically, this is uh, how to do it. So uh, we're going to go to the online tool right now. And this is Chunker right here. So as you can see, guys, look. It's so simple. There's literally two buttons. This is exclusively licensed to Minecraft from Hive Games. So basically Minecraft basically owns this right now. So they're paying Hive Games to operate it and they're running it for Minecraft. Look how easy it is, guys. You basically just pick your world folder uh, or just drag and drop. Take any world from any version, uh, Java or Bedrock, and drop it in. Uh, and it will become any other version you want in addition to some cropping things that happen. So uh, that's one of the things that goes on here is uh, cropping. But we'll show you that. When I do the upload, I'll show you about the cropping. Ba basically, sometimes people like to crop their ends and their nethers uh, on servers uh, because a lot of people will go to the end, you know, and they go out and they find all the Elytra and the end cities and there's nowhere to go. So if you crop it, you go in and you basically unload everything that was loaded so everybody could go do it again. Uh, I'll show you that when we do it. So basically, I'm just going to go to Planet Minecraft right now, uh, which is one of the downloading, you know, sites to go to. And then we're going to find a map together and we're just going to go through the whole thing. So as you can see right here, we're just at planetminecraft.com. Again, links for all this stuff is going to be in the description below. Uh, yeah, and I just put it on like, you know, the biggest Java downloads of all time because some of these are super huge worlds, right? But the main thing you can see here, guys, is that 10 years ago, 9 years ago, 10 years ago, 10... The really huge ones are from a long time ago, 12 years. Uh, so let's go through here. We're going to go through here basically and find one to do. So right here, this one, Lapis Point City, like 10 years ago, super huge world. Let's go in here and actually get what we need to make this go on Bedrock Edition. Since as you can see, it's a Java Edition map. Okay, so we're in here, you know, you look and basically you go through all of this stuff. This guy's basically like, guys, leave me alone. I'm not making this anymore. I'm like, uh, you know, I have a family now. Uh, and yeah, so basically there is also a lot of places that kind of put some shady, uh, you know, shady advertising between their downloads. This one here, because it's Planet Minecraft, is much better. MCPDL is not very cool with that. They put those crazy ones in. So as you can see, we're just going to go in again. Be careful. Uh, be careful do this at your own risk, but you know go through add focus is easy You just wait just wait for this one in the top corner here wait till it says skip and then go and then you're safe Bang you hit skip you get over here to the media fire. Let's get this guy's download and Bang it's gonna download to your computer wherever you put it as you can see and there you have it. So uh, after getting our download, it is now on my desktop right here. It's going to come in a zip file, you know, whatever version of whatever uh, file. It could be an MC World or, you know, whatever. This is the way it goes in. So once it's zipped, you can't drop a zip file into it. I'm just going to use my uh, my pzip. It's just basically, you know, whatever unzipping program you use. Uh, this is mine right here. And now, as you can see right next to it, this gives us our file that's, uh, you know, open for us. So, uh, Lapis Point Map, let's go over here to Chunker. As you can see, Chunker's so easy. Guys, look, it's in the website. It's ready to go. Just take your Lapis Point Map, drop it in. As you can see, it's loading up your world so easily. How easy is this? So, this one's a long world. I'm going to time lapse this because this is a really large world, right? It wasn't even that bad. Uh, so start upload. So now basically it's going to now upload the map up to their server or whatever it is in the form uh, that's that it's in. So basically it's in Java edition form right now. Uh, and yeah, so let this one do this. 
Okay, so now that you've seen it get to this point, this is where the features come in or the additional stuff. So basically, this is all the different versions of Minecraft. And you can see right here the source version. The original version of this map was in 1.8.8. Java edition. So uh, whatever version you wanted in, even a newer version of Java or any old version of Bedrock, we want it in the newest one, the newest Bedrock edition. Okay, perfect. Bang. So now what's advanced mode, guys? I'm going to show you this now because this is a very useful tool. Uh, again, you don't have to use MCC tool chest or any of these crazy stuffs to use it. Advanced mode. So in the advanced mode here, you can basically change any and all and every, you know, most of the different uh, the different settings inside the game. So uh, you can do your pruning here. You could change certain blocks to certain blocks. So, you know, it's not not exactly world edit, uh, but it does do a few things, including the pruning of the dimensions. So uh, the end and the nether again, server owners know. Uh, they used to use a different tool to do the pruning and now you could just use this simple thing so like basically take your realm you know download your realm right off so look it's even it even shows this exact map like right down so you can look at it okay what's going on where this is a crazy minecraft map guys look at it holy cow it's even bigger than i thought so we're right around here somewhere but yeah so basically you can go in here and prune anything so what you would have to do is switch mode and go in there's various tools uh, but dimensions and pruning uh, so you could basically prune chunks outside of a region so bang you could go in and basically say uh, this is used for say everybody makes a base so say we have a survival world hundreds you know dozens of people it's super overplayed we could just basically take our base and make it safe and reset the rest of the world all of the temples treasure chest spawner everything just comes back again uh, there's so many different ways to use this uh, for the nether, for the end, for the overworld. Uh, this is a super good tool. I'm not going to use it for any of this. Uh, block mapping. So basically, uh, it allows you to basically pick any one block and turn it into another block. So you can say basically, here's a super flat and it has grass, right? You can say instead of grass, I want grass to be uh, glass. And if you want it to be glass, it'll do that. The world switches the blocks for you and bang -o. Uh, converter settings again these are some smaller ones in here discard empty chunks I'm not going to even get into too many of these but basically you could mess with these if you wanted and yeah world preview everything's ready so we're good we don't want to do any of this stuff we're already done world preview we just want to play this on bedrock edition let's go over here let's go back to here the java edition to bedrock edition and let's go okay so that brings us to here ready to download how awesome is that so now basically it took your world it uploaded it to itself it took that information it changed that information to the type that you wanted which is the bedrock version and now we're going to download from them the bedrock version of the world so we're going to hit the download i'm going to split the screen again so you can see my desktop and as you can see now right on the desktop that exact same world right here right here bingo bango lapis point map this is the whole generation. It went from a zip file download to a file from the unzipped to a Bedrock Edition map. Now, the only reason it looks like this is because I have uh, Minecraft installed on my computer. If you don't have Minecraft installed, this MC world will just look like a folder and confuse you. But if you do have Minecraft installed and the default way that you open your MC world files is within Minecraft, when you double click this right now, You'll get that generic uh, doo -doo -doo sound like that. I missed it because I couldn't switch screens fast enough. But when you go in here, this was the one that we were in. This is the one I just installed on my PC right now. So uh, going right back in, it'll bring us right to where we were at the beginning of today's uh, journey. Guys, I, I'm telling you right now, I remember in the olden days, the steps that people had to go through to try to get more worlds from java edition to bedrock or bedrock to java and the reason why uh it's so useful is just because so much more stuff uh comes from the free marketplaces for java edition with regards to that so uh that means you get a ton more free stuff you don't have to go to the marketplace and spend your mine coins guys don't forget to smash that like if you use this tool uh for it again all your links are in the description guys catch you on the next one